What's up everyone? So today I'm going to show you how we can backup and restore Docker container volumes using Docker Compose. Um, I'm using Docker Compose because it's declarative. However, no one is stopping you just using Docker CLI command to do the same thing. You can obviously achieve the same thing. Um, all right. So here we have a uh, Docker Compose file. I have defined a service called Firefox and I'm basically running Firefox inside a container. So let me just run docker compose up with a detached flag here you can see it's creating a new network for the uh, new container or the services we have and it is create uh, it's going to create a new volume as well and after that it's starting the firefox container all right i can access that from the browser so we have firefox inside the browser so here inside the firefox i'm going to change some stuff maybe the theme to dark and maybe we can download something so let's save this page as uh, html all right so we have done all that now i'm going to um down the services as you can see it's going to uh, remove the container and remove the network however it's not going to uh, remove all the volumes obviously uh, all right now i'm going to create another file called backup.yaml to uh, define all our uh, backup and restore services actually i'm going to copy over these things to the new file the backup.yaml uh, file let's define our services i'm going to uh, create a service called backup here i'm going to create an image i'm going to use um bc box image the latest one this is basically just linux with gnu utils uh you know necessary stuff like rm cp um tar and all that stuff uh okay we have the image and we are going to mount the volumes like so additionally we are going to need another volume but before that i'll just make this an array like so and i'm going to mount the config uh, volume to root config actually i don't need downloads because it's inside the uh inside the config directory um all right now i'm going to create a command here i'm going to create a archive using everything inside this config directory okay uh sh dash c let's execute some commands here i'm going to use star to create a uh, archive and I'm going to add these flags okay uh, first of all I'm going to add C for creating an archive archive and uh, you can add verbos if you want more debug information but I'm just going to maybe ignore that actually let's add that whatever uh, then we can pass in uh, the algorithm or the compression method I think you can just do tar help here and let's find j flag here it's bzip so b zip yeah we are going to use bzip so here we have added j and the target location and the file name uh by using f file name is going to be um config tar dot bzip dot bz uh but where do we where are we going to store this file well i'm going to create another volume called backup here i have dot for slash that basically means it's going to create a volume here or rather a directory called backup here in the same directory and it's going to mount that into for slash backup in the container okay uh now everything we store inside for slash backup going to be end up in our host machine 
that's great okay now um let's set the target to four slash backup so it's persistent and here i'm going to change the current working directory into four slash config and i'm going to select everything in the current directory because we have changed to four slash config uh, we are archiving everything inside the um, four slash config or root config okay that's good um this is actually uh looks good i'm going to run this service okay um i can run docker compose and we have to point the file because it's not called uh, docker compose so backup dot yaml and here command is run because i just want to run a single service and i'm going to add rm flag as well uh, then the name of the service is backup as you can see here um, the name of the service is backup okay now let's run this as you can see it's going to archive everything inside config hopefully download is also here yeah looks like or is it yeah i think yeah um okay now how do we restore actually before that uh, let me show you the um volumes we have docker volume ls we have a volume called test config i have removed that because that contains all the uh changes we have made right docker um volume remove test underscore config now if i docker compose up you can see we have we have changed back to the light theme because we removed the volume and inside downloads we shouldn't have anything yeah as expected let me just remove the container or down the services now let's try to create the restore service to restore everything we have uh, backed up restore and once again we are going to use the same image and same set of volumes okay um now command is going to be for extracting everything inside the archive okay tar uh, we are going to uh, extract x the j is going to be our compression method f is the target file so it's going to be backup um config dot target bz okay we are going to change to the um config directory and i think this is good enough however if there are existing configurations uh that got created when the when the container is initialized i do, really do, don't need them here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove everything uh recursively and i'm going to force that and let's remove everything inside config um this is only going to remove everything visible so let's get rid of uh dot files as well so config uh everything starts with dot however ignore um all the files that uh contains another dot all right so it's going to i think uh ignore the current directory and the parent directory which would uh list for some reason um okay this looks good let's try this out um i'm going to use the same command however the service name is restore okay i may have done something wrong invalid option hmm. why is that invalid uh, i can use xf right uh, i'm just going to remove the uh, dash here because xf is something i usually use yeah let's try this nope invalid option wait is it containing about this thing right here Ra um yeah but i don't have a c what is it talking about 
Oh shit. Um, I forgot the semicolon. That's why. Uh, basically, I have paused everything. Uh, in this line as an argument to RM. That's why. Okay. Uh, um. Okay. This looks good. Let's try this again. Okay. We have restored everything. We have backed up. Now let's try to uh, run the Docker command. Docker compose command. Forgot the slash D, but it's okay. Yep, we have everything, and let's go to downloads. We have that as uh, the downloaded file file as well, and we have the team. Nice. So that's how you would um, back up volumes using uh, Docker compose. Obviously, you can replicate the same command set of commands inside in Docker uh, CLI as well using docker cli as well um however this is declarative you can version control and all that stuff is there so um obviously if you are version controlling you have to add backup directly to the git ignore um okay that's pretty much it and if you are backing up things like databases obviously um you could also use if you're using SQL, then you uh, MySQL, then you can use things like MySQL dump, right? Uh, that's that's also there. Yeah, uh, this is pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.